we left Aunt Malta's this morning. What time did we leave? Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. We got about eight miles from Aunt Malta's house and the tire minder started yelling at us right at a four-way stop turning on to um, well we were turning on to the, the 27 I believe it was like we're at a dead stop and all of a sudden the tire miners start screaming Just, well and it was a surprise because since we've never heard it it was like what is that and we're looking looking at the dash looking at the phone Looking at the officer that was right across the road from us, looking at us. <laughs> As we're panicking. So, tire miter, it worked. It's fabulous. We stopped, we had a place to pull off, changed the tire, plugged the old tire, pressured it back up, put everything away, and we're off again. Our alarm on our tire minder was going off and Sean said we have picked up a screw. I see it. Do you see it? That sucks. Good tires. Yuck. So we are once again very glad that we have the tire minder. He could do it. Where's the... Why is it... Well, like I say, I have... Obviously picked up... A big screw. A big screw. Here. Plugged it, put the new one on, so we will put the tire minder gauge on the spare tire and put, which is the same as our regular tires, and then put the original tire back up underneath where it goes. So that will automatically read to the tire minder now. It should. Hopefully it'll and quit beeping. Not, just reset it. So I was thinking that we should talk about what we used. We used the Anderson. Well, as you can see, we're back here in northern Utah. And I'm wearing a coat because it was snowing today. I am certainly missing that Texas weather. But I'm going to interject right now and talk a little bit about some of the tools that I used uh, during that incident that we had leaving Marble Falls with the screw. So these, this is some of the equipment that I do carry all the time in the truck. And the first thing here is my Vier 400 RV pump. I, I can't even stress enough that if you are an RVer and you have a trailer, this is, this is a must have piece of equipment. The second thing is my Anderson Rapid Jack and I utilized this to quickly help you know get that trailer up so I could get that tire off. And then in this kit that I also always carry in my truck, I carry a, a vest, a safety vest, um, and then uh, this is the plug kit that, that uh, I utilized. I've got uh, some rubber cement, not only I've got these plugs, I've got other plugs. So let's talk a little bit about the plug kit. When I plugged that tire after it had got the screw, it was knowing that it was going to be a temporary fix. Uh, you really should not plug a steel belted tire, um, but we still had 
1300 miles to get home and uh, I wanted to make sure that if we had some other mishap on the road th that I had a spare. Fortunately we didn't have any other mishap so I didn't have to utilize that tire again and since we've made it back up here to northern Utah I took that tire into the local tire shop where I had purchased the tires they went ahead and took it off the rim and then they they put a boot on the inside so we're good to go so i'll put a link in the description below for those products for anybody that's interested anyways we uh need to make a turn here gotta tell dad we are making a right turn here in 250 feet continue on this road for 47 miles we're headed to northern utah at least because we think that we could possibly make it in two days but if we have you know any more surprises or delays it may take longer and that's okay because we have our house well according to sam we have 1324 miles to go we're hoping to make about 700 miles a day uh, we're hoping to overnight no. somewhere around albuquerque tonight find a wide spot in the road with, with uh, what's happening in the world right now certainly we want to avoid as much contact as possible with anybody else and right. uh, another uh, great thing about that is you know, I have the 50 gallon auxiliary tank in the back so I estimate that realistically we should only have to make one fuel stop uh, which on is, the way home which is nice because then you can just put on gloves only touch one thing that someone else has touched and in and out of the pump we'll try to find somewhere where we can be up by ourselves to overnight in an area where we're not contacting anybody else, and then, and then roll into uh, roll into our home base tomorrow evening. So that's the hope. home base in northern Utah. We're going to just hunker down for a week or so, keep ourselves isolated, which is going to be tough because the grandkids know we're home. Yeah, and we've told them to stay away because we don't want to be around them, just, just for prudency's sake. Um, and thankfully we didn't have any other issues. Um, we caught a few hours of sleep uh, in Moriarty, New Mexico, and then pushed on home. Uh, that Having that auxiliary tank in the truck was... Uh, was again, I, I just love it anyway. I, I love the way that it gives us the ability to, to, to make some longer trips without having to worry about getting fuel. Um, so, got home, got set up here in the driveway. In the dark. Yeah. That was kind of tricky. Because <laughs> I don't think we've ever parked in our driveway in the dark. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay at backing up, but uh, she's a big girl to back up in the dark. But yeah. we, got, we got her done. And, uh, anyways, so... Uh, not exactly sure what our plans are going forward again at this point we still are committed to go to alaska but uh, we just don't know um over the next couple of weeks i'm going to finish up some projects uh, on the trailer i will put, be putting out some videos on uh, some of those upgrades that we do to the trailer and a couple of other things that make our trailer homey yeah we have a couple of things that we can show everybody so anyways if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow Angie, Jazz, and I on our journey. Because that journey is going to continue, even with what's going on in the world. It is. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody.